Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cougar Central, brought to you by Bud Light. I'm your host, Stephen Holmes. The Cougars had a lot of action this past week, so let's jump right into some of the highlights. Softball had their opening day this last week on February the 9th, going up against both Texas Tech and number 6 Texas A&M, and went one for one for the day. In their first matchup against Texas Tech, the Lady Cougs put up four runs, beating Texas Tech four to one. Junior pitcher Savannah Hebner received her first win of the season, only giving up one run, walking three, and striking out four. Versus Texas A&M, the Lady Cougs put up a good fight, but fell short, losing five to four. Sophomore pitcher Tristan Malanson took the loss against the Aggie. Malanson surrendered five runs on nine hits with one walk and one strikeout. Shortstop Mariah Garcia was two of three at the bat with one RBI and had a solo home run for the game. On February the 10th, the Lady Cougs faced off against Boston College and defeated them five to four. The Lady Cougs were able to get the victory on a dropped fly ball. Outfielders Kaylin Crumpton and Maya Thomas each had an excellent game with two for three and two for four showings. Pitcher Savannah Hebner received her second win of the season, only giving up one run on one hit. On the 10th, the Lady Cougs also faced off against Texas Tech and crushed them, defeating them 8-2. Sophomore pitcher Tristan Malanson picked up her first win of the season. She limited Texas Tech to only two runs on six hits while walking one and tying her career high with eight strikeouts. In track and field news, on Thursday, February the 9th, the track team competing in Tyson Invitation and showcased the speed. Sprinter Elijah Hall continued to bring the heat and dominate on the track. In the 60-meter dash, Elijah Hall clocked in the second fastest time in school history with a time of 6.58 seconds and earned him a goal in the meet. Sophomore hurdler Amir Ladin blazed the track with a time of 7.79 in the 60 meter hurdles, earning him silver in the meet. At the Harry Ryan Invitational, the women's team took first and second in the women's shock put. February the 10th, the Cougars brought the heat again. Elijah Hall took home the gold in the 200 meter dash with a time of 20.52. The men's 4x400 meter relay team, Amir Ladin, Hall, Mario Burks, and Kamari Montgomery made history with a program record of time of 3 minutes and 4 seconds to end the meet. The women's tennis team went on the road to Arizona to face off against Nevada and came out victorious in a coach matchup 4-3. On Sunday the 11th, the Lady Cougs competed against Arizona and outlasted them 6-1 and remains undefeated for the season. The basketball team continues to elevate and dominate on the floor defeating conference rival SMU this past week. Thursday, February the 9th, sophomore guard Armani Brooks shot lights out, making seven of nine beyond the arc. Brooks scored 23 points and added 10 rebounds to accomplish his first career double-double. The Cougars went on a 17 to one run in the final six minutes of the match to beat SMU 67 to 58. Senior guard Rob Gray helped shoulder the load on offense, adding 15 points and seven assists for the game. With this win, the Cougars continue to be undefeated at home. Sunday, February the 11th, the Cougars continued their winning, overpowering Tulane to a victory of 73-42. to Senior forward Devin Davis led all scorers with 16 points and four rebounds. Sophomore guard Amani Brooks was a spark off the bench, posting his second straight double-double with 11 points and 11 rebounds. Defensively, the Cougars clamped down and caused 16 turnovers. They had 10 steals for the game and protected the rim with four blocks. The Cougars are now 19-5. The women's basketball team faced off against Memphis on February the 7th and completed their ninth comeback of the season, defeating Memphis 66 to 55. The Lady Cougs caused many problems for the Tigers, making them turn the ball over 25 times, including 11 in the second half. Guard Jasmine Harris finished with a game high of 24 points, while Angela Harris added with 19. Sarika Hawkins helped on the glass with eight rebounds. The Lady Cougs went to Oklahoma to compete against Tulsa and fell short losing the game 83-77. to It was a close and hard-fought game. The Lady Cougs brought the game within one point in the second quarter but couldn't grab the lead. Guard Angela Harris had a career high of 26 points. Jasmine Harris contributed 15, and Saretha Hawkins recorded her sixth double-double of the season with 14 points and 13 rebounds. With this loss, it brought the Lady Cougs record down to 19-7. and It's going to be another busy week for the Cougars, so let's check out this week's schedule. Wednesday, February the 14th through Saturday the 17th, women's swimming will compete in the American Athletic Conference Championship. Thursday, February the 15th, men's basketball will go against number six, Cincinnati. Softball will play in the Puerto Vallarta College Challenge, February the 15th through 17th. 
Friday, February the 16th, women's tennis faces off against New Mexico. Baseball will play against Holy Cross February the 16th through the 18th. Men's golf will be in the All-American Intercollegiate Friday, February the 16th through Sunday the 18th. Saturday, February the 17th, women's basketball will compete against ECU. And women's tennis will face off against Rice. On Sunday, February the 18th, men's basketball matchup against Temple. And women's golf competes in the All-State Sugar Bowl the 18th through the 20th. Track and field will have a Houston Seniors and Masters meet. There's a lot of action going on for the Cougars this week, so make sure you go out and support your Cougars. And there you have it, another episode of Cougar Central for the books. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at UH Athletics. And as always, go Cougs.